hola y'all welcome back to my channel i am kelly if you're here hola if you are returning welcome back um it is thursday i really have not been able to record all week because my phone is crazy i think i gotta get over that cringe feeling of recording vlogs on my camera in front of other people because i literally don't have the storage on my phone like it's wild because i have 256 megabytes of storage so like what am i using it on my badge is at home Ugh! so clearly i am back um three hours later y'all i was running so late and for me to leave my badge at home took me from here to here like i was here with myself because what was i thinking um i'm on the plane i'm just on a portland turn for today my phone is always losing storage so if this video cuts off i lost storage again i left my camera at home because it was dead one girl that don't have her life together it's me um but yeah i'm on the plane i'm just doing a portland turn hope i can go home and go to the gym and meal prep i'm off tomorrow but i have two more turns after that i've been picking up so much overtime um not necessarily because i have to but i just want that extra money because somebody got to get paid and if somebody got to be paid i'd rather it be me so i have been picking up time i feel really cute today i recorded a youtube video before i left on the hair this hair review i'm so mad because i have plaits up under here and there's a braid here and there's a braid here and i feel like it is giving lumpy so maybe i'll braid my hair too tonight um but this hair gives every time it's gonna give every time and i look good today like i look good today um but yeah so we were early today here in portland portland so we have about 15 minutes on the plane with nobody on here so i'm taking the time to actually come on here and talk to y'all welcome y'all to the vlog um properly maybe i'll post these other videos that i started you know earlier this week because i started vlogging but i couldn't complete anything because every two seconds my phone is running out of storage how irritating is that to have to delete photos on your phone to add new photos i need to start recording on my camera because that's what i got it for i'm just too scared to like pull it out and be like it's kelly welcome back to my channel even though i do it on my phone i think it looks a little more inconspicuous on my phone because no one knows if i'm talking to somebody else or if i'm actually talking to myself on the camera so i can kind of like get away with it but yeah your girl's working today um i have another two hour flight back home and then i'm done for the day I will see y'all when I get home, which is going to be dark, but I'll see y'all later. So I am in the bed. Literally, I need to do something to my head, y'all. I keep like one between a wig and pony braids. I don't know what I got going on, but it will be done soon. I'm currently in the bed, though. And I can't sleep. It's like midnight and I'm tired. My thing is. I have been living with a cricket now for two days. I partially feel bad, but at the same time, I'm tired. So I came home last night from work to find that there was a cricket in my room somewhere. And I hate bugs. I hate them with the passion. It scares the heck out of me. And it was in my closet at first. So I literally just blocked the closet off, tucked towels under the closet so it can't get out at all. And it's just stuck in there with all the clothes. The cricket can have the clothes at this point, right? Well, I fell asleep and I woke up and I heard it in my room. And I'm like, where is this cricket at? I'm terrified because I'm like, I don't, I just don't want to wake up and it's in front of me or it's in my mouth or it's in my, on my face or something like that. Like it scares the heck out of me. Um. But I guess I was so tired, I still went back to sleep. But when I woke up this morning, it was completely silent. I just got home now, and you can hear it so well in the kitchen. So I'm guessing it must be in the vents because it couldn't have came out of the closet. Literally, the closet was sealed off like a containment center. Like nothing was getting in, nothing was getting out. That's how well I sealed it off. But it still got in my room and now it's in the living room so it has to be getting around 
but this morning when i left the gym i haven't been able to record anything today y'all i am a mess both batteries in my camera was dead oh i should check the other camera and get that battery out but um my phone has no storage like i am a mess but i'm getting it together i promise um but yeah i went to home depot and i'm like you know i have one cricket and it's somewhere in my closet what can i get to lure it out and the man was just like literally nothing so i looked up online and i looked it up and they said that cricket like like the scent of beer or um soda something sweet so i put a coca-cola out when i left for work today and it did nothing because the cricket is still in the living room so it has to be in the walls or in the vents somewhere i just don't know where and you can hear it so good in the living room like i'm about to show you I gave up on trying to find it I feel bad because the guy in Home Depot said that the cricket is making that noise to find its family and um, he was like there's nothing you can do to really get it it's just gonna make that noise until it dies so I gotta hear the cricket die which sucks and then also when I was coming home from work I can hear other crickets outside my window like like they're trying to signal it and it's trying to signal him like them but it can't it's so sad it really makes me sad because i would almost rather put the cricket out of its misery than let it sit around and starve and die in the walls so we are doing so super well this morning kind of productive i'm proud of myself um i got up maybe like an hour and a half ago only thing that sucks i'm so mad I was supposed to take my home buying class today and I forgot like a genius I forgot so um, I'm kind of sad and disappointed about that but I'm up y'all I am kind of happy for myself I'm got time to go to the gym before I got to get ready for work it's 10 30 I need to be leaving out now but I also just posted a review or a video on my channel and um yeah my bed is clean I haven't had my bed in so long because it was covered in clothes that are now in that box that I have to put away eventually but I'm doing good I'm doing great we're about to get up and get this day started um I have to work another turn tonight which is you know but it's okay um i am just coming here to say good morning from the wild hair gang guess who is at work not just on time but early and the edges look good okay just good i only did these i didn't do these down here so don't come for me but y'all i'm at work i'm also supposed to be here at 2 30 it's 1 40 that's what i'm talking about baby um after the gym i just immediately went home and got ready for work instead of sitting down and getting comfortable because if i did i would have sat down and i would have been sitting down until at least 1 45 and i'm like i mean 12 45 and i'm like oh man i gotta be out of the house by 1 30 and it takes me forever to get ready um this vlog which i think i said like a thousand times by now but i think it's gonna be mostly talking so hopefully y'all hear like to hear me talk but um i literally can't do anything my camera's finally charged your girl's getting her life together my phone is still no storage maybe i'll delete storage today to try to make space for it but um yeah i just haven't been able to record because i really haven't had the materials to record with now i'm back here i bought my camera i'm taking it to me with me to work i only do a turn today i do a memphis turn it's about three and a half hours there three and a half hours back home and then i'm done for the day but this is a good time to try out 
bringing my camera with me and recording on my camera at work um i know i'm gonna be uncomfortable but it's worth it um and yeah it is literally saturday which is crazy to me because i can't believe that i haven't really recorded all week like it's wild i haven't recorded any b-roll footage any anything so this vlog is gonna be mostly me talking but i can do an update on my 75 soft challenge because um i've been pretty consistent not completely only because um i think i fell off and once you fall off and get comfortable it's hard to get back on it let me fix this camera that's better for me but um yeah so like i did 18 days straight and i know that somewhere in there you're supposed to be taking at least one rest day but i didn't i literally worked out 18 days straight um and i was doing so good i was proud of myself i was doing great then that time of the month came and it just threw everything off and i have not been able to get back on track since i went to the gym again today um but it was like 18 days straight then my cycle started so i took two days off just the first two days and then i went to gym the last two days and then um I took another day off then I went back to the gym and then I took two days off and then I just started back to the gym today y'all I don't know why it's so hard for me to, to keep going now especially because I've been going so consistently and when I went the 18 days straight it was like I literally couldn't go a day without going to the gym because I'm like oh let me just get up and go like I might as well go I'm already up awake I just need to go to the gym like it was just in my mind but now I'm like oh let me wait a minute even today I knew that I was getting back at like midnight and I didn't want to work out in the middle of the night. So I'm like, just get up and go to the gym. Because you made this promise to yourself. But I almost didn't go. Like, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to it. I'm gonna keep um this consistently consistency going. I just need to find my why again. And I think I was doing really good before because I would post it on TikTok. Um every day like i'll do the workout the day before post it the next morning do the workout day before post the next morning and when my schedule kind of knocked off like that took two, day, two days off it was hard for me to get back on to work out before and then post it the next day especially because i was like then going inconsistently so i even didn't post it or i did didn't record my 75s off today but i did go to the gym but I didn't do it today because I was in an EOS and I just hate how full of those gyms are. Honestly, I just try my best to get in there and get out. Um, my regular gym, which is the Anytime Fitnesses, I go to like those centers because they're smaller, but they have the same amount of like the same type of equipment, which is good for me. But um, with my insurance, I signed up for the membership and then I canceled it when I went back, started going back to the gym because they said they couldn't find me in a system. So I had to cancel and restart. But then the lady found me in a system, but I already canceled the membership. So like I had that 30 days to go. And then it just cleared and canceled. I wanna say if today is the 18th on the 15th, it canceled. So I started back up, but now I can't go back into the 1st of January. So a lot of my workouts are gonna be in EOS. And I think I have to just get used to recording. <laughs> I think that this is really putting me out there to like get used to it because now I have to record and I probably got to get a tripod in a really public place which is not something that I'm exactly completely comfortable with um, when I went to any time y'all literally was like two people in a gym three people max the most people that it'll get at a busy time was like six or seven people in the gym and it was like easy to just keep going because the gym was big enough nobody was on top of each other i didn't feel like anybody was watching me record myself but yeah gym has been great um i've been doing really good at working on my actual goal that was one of my goals for 75 soft is to work on my craft every day which i actually have still been doing good at because i've been still posting tiktoks daily and then um, i've been recording my weekly vlogs and that's recorded every day and then i'll post it once a week so i've been doing really good with that so i'm proud of myself with that um, I've been um, working on my spiritual goal, which is to either read a book, watch a video or a podcast on bettering myself or going to church. I've been watching a lot of um, church po or church videos uh, pretty much every day, if not every day, at least every other day. And then I've been I read every time I'm at work because there's really nothing else for me to do. We have a Kindle on our iPad and we can't use our phones, so I just read a book while I'm at work.
so I've been doing really good with that my water intake can we just not even talk about that because I suck at drinking water but I'm working on it I have I was so prepared today y'all I even made my cup of water I don't know how many ounces this is I gotta look it up but this is a big cup it's bigger than my head and I made it of water and my goal is to drink at least three of these today I'm supposed to be drinking two liters of water we'll see how that works out um, but yeah and now I'm early to work I'm watching church right now um, because I don't have to leave my car until 2 o'clock and it's 1 48 and then um, I'll be reading on the plane but I've been doing really good on the 75 soft challenge been saying mostly consistent like I said I'm working on myself to get back on track which I have been doing good of getting back in there because usually if I take one day off I take a month off and it's just like that but I am really working on I made this promise to myself I need to keep it and I thought I started thinking like that because when I forgot what video I watched but it was like you make promises to people all the time and you keep them and if you don't you feel terrible about not doing because you let that person down but you don't feel like that when you make a promise to yourself and you don't keep up with it you're just like okay well I'll just start back or it's no big deal like I'll just do it again or whatever and it's completely true because I made this promise to myself and I actually feel bad for not completing it. It's only 75 days of keeping up with myself and I can do that. Especially when I have the time and I spend most of my days in the bed watching Netflix. That guy just scared the heck out of me. <laughs> but yeah, it's like you can do this. Like if you don't do this, you're truly letting yourself down and I feel like I don't care about myself. So I've been keeping up with it sorry for this such a talkative vlog um this week like i said i'm sorry i just I, I i don't know but i'm working on everything um i'm gonna finish watching church put my badge on and head into the airport see y'all later